I'm gonna break down some of the beards, easy step back moves that are hard to guard, ones that you can pick up in minutes and start getting a lot more shots off. First one is the easiest one. He does this one a ton. He's gonna dribble the basketball, same side, hand and foot, come back. That's pretty much it. Step back in with that other foot, take your shot. Not much more you need to know than that. Something you can add to your game. Next one he does a lot to create separation when his defender's playing him a little bit tighter because they don't want him to get his shot off. So what he'll do is whichever hand's dribbling, the opposite foot he's gonna step a little bit forward towards the defender to make him think maybe he's gonna cross over and come this way or sometimes we can switch the angle up, same foot, just step this way to make him think that he might come this way. Either way is fine. It's just important that you get that jab step in quick, a little bit more than shoulder width apart so you're still on good balance and enough to sell that fake. Keep the ball back here, that'll keep it protected. Besides that, you're just gonna go into that step back we just showed you before. So that back foot comes back and then this foot comes in, get buckets. This next one is one he's got a lot of guys and broke some ankles with, it's the snatch back. So with this one you can do it, sometimes he'll do it on the run, but a lot of times you know him, he likes to do his little setup, you know, all these dribbles up here like this. So a lot of times he'll kind of lull him to sleep and, make him maybe think that, okay, he's gonna go into a big move and they anticipate that. And then all of a sudden, he'll go into one hard step here, same side foot as the hand that has the basketball, and then pull it back, and guess what's gonna happen from there? We're gonna go into that same step back we've been working on the whole time, that original one, right? So we're just gonna do that from a crossover, create extra separation, get some more buckets. Next one, once again, he'll break this out from this little setup he likes to do, and he'll take this crossover like he always does, right? So it's between the legs cross, between the legs cross. All of a sudden, he'll take a step with this foot, and he'll still go between the legs, but you can see how changing the, this step really gives it a different effect, right? So here, 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 taking a step, still going between the legs, and then from that, boom. Same thing, as soon as it comes between the legs, this foot's coming back like all the other ones, this foot, Again, get buckets. Next one takes a little bit more practice to get down, but it's super deceptive, and I think you can learn it pretty quickly. You can do this from pretty much any move, but what he does with this is, as the ball's like floating in his hand, he's gonna kinda like hang with the dribble, and then go into step back. So a couple of ways you could do it. A lot of times he'll do it from a regular dribble, just like that. Now a lot of people think that's a travel. In younger leagues you might get called for travel, especially from this regular dribble float and then going into it. I'll link you to a video at the end that really breaks down his more like controversial one. You can see all about it in that video. But if you wanna keep it a little more safe, just more of a quick float and go into it or he'll do this a lot crossing over more forward so he's a lefty he'll do the crossover to the left side float it and hop back again but works the same the only difference is this time the front hand has the basketball so here boom Again, he'll do this from a regular dribble too. Same thing, right? I'm just floating the ball, hopping back with that same back foot. Usually for all these, if you're a righty shooter, you'll want to initiate that first step with the left foot. Me, I'm a lefty like James Harden, so I would initiate with that right foot. Guess what you're gonna do from there? Get buckets. Next one's one you can actually kind of add to all the other ones. It's just an angle change. So any of those moves in this video, you might want to go back and watch them and think about how you can add this with it, but it's a sidestep. So instead of stepping back, 
you're just gonna step more to the side. Creates a little more sneaky separation that defenders don't see coming, and it gives you options to get a little bit of an angle to maybe attack and get past your defender from there if they don't close the gap as much. But same things are gonna apply, right? If I'm dribbling with the right hand, right foot's gonna step out, and from there I can go into my shot. Or I can drive. Or if my defender does jump this angle, and all of these really these step backs, I could maybe give them a little hezzy to make them think I'm gonna shoot, and then come this way. Or if they're closing out, they're too far to this side, go this way. Okay, last two, the shuffle, step back. And the double step back. Now those are a little more controversial. If you click the link that I'll have pinned to the comments, that'll have a playlist that covers his controversial shuffle step back if it's travel or not, how you can do it legally, as well as the double step back that was a travel and how you can do that one legally. And I'll have a free ball handling workout that'll help you take your handles next level in that comment as well. Subscribe and click the bell icon to catch the newest videos and I'll see you in that playlist and that free workout next.